This conference will now be recorded. <laughs> this is my work conference software. I'm like, I know this always works. We're just gonna go. All right, um, I've muted everybody again because there was a lot of background noise for me. Um, please forgive the modern technology that we're all using because right now it's the only way to see each other. Um, I just want to say a couple things off the bat. One, I am totally there with you. This has been stunning and a huge change. And I mean, frankly, it's disappointing. We all want, we wanted to go to Gulf Wars. We want to <laughs> have our other events. I mean, we're shutting down Winter Archery Clinic and uh, I mean, a Shatton Tour event. They don't get a ton of events. Um, all, all of it. it, it's let yourself be disappointed. It's okay. We, we have got everything, everything in our lives has come to a screeching halt all at once. And it is okay to be upset and it is okay to be disappointed. Um, one of the things that we have to tell ourselves is that however we're feeling, however we're choosing to deal with this, it's okay. Well, unless you're like jumping off the roof, don't do that. But um, it's a difficult situation and we're just all doing the best we can. Um, a lot of people don't, uh, aren't able to work. Um, some are losing significant amounts of money. Um, all of our children are home. Um, so that's a new adventure, even for those of us who can work from home. My, my youngest doesn't even have lessons for the next three weeks, I'm not even online. So this is all new. Um, approach it like an opportunity if you can. I know it's hard, um, but I, I also wanted to say thank you to everybody because you have, the outpouring of love that I have seen from person to person in this situation is extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary. And it can be a little overwhelming. So that's okay too. If you need to step offline and go, I, I'm just overwhelmed, I need some distance. Um, but if you want to go online, there are classes, there are groups, there's Discord channel, there's so many things that you can do to make yourself, you know, for lack of a better word, busy. Um, right now, you can only see me, I'm the presenter. When we start like the full chat and I'm done with my thing, I'll make, uh, I'll take away and we'll be able to see who's talking. Um, I have control of those different settings. Um, I do have token for everybody who was planning on, you know, fighting at Gulf Wars. I do have the pay for the army. And um, I do intend to give my coins to everybody who was planning on going to Gulf Wars, not just the people who were fighting. I hope to be able to do that at Crown, but if you're not coming to Crown, that's okay. Um, I'll carry them with me for the next series of events that I go to. And you can always come up to me and say, I haven't gotten paid yet. I was planning on going to Gulf Wars and I'll give you your pay. I'm gonna do a court. Um, the date isn't hard set yet, but probably early in April. I'm thinking maybe April 4th. We have to remember that this is not a sprint. It's a marathon. We've got at least eight weeks of being social distanced from each other. Um, stay six feet apart, the whole nine yards, and to have quarantine yourself if you've been exposed. I know a couple of people who have. Um, nobody I know has come sick yet, thank goodness, but um, the number of cases is rising, and this is still the best thing for us to do, even though it's hard. Um, I wanted to, to get on here and tell you it's hard for everybody. It's not just hard for you, but you can only do you. Um, if you want to go out there and take every class there is, go do it. 
if you want to hide in, in your basement and paint scrolls, do it. Um, however you want to handle this, you guys have been absolutely fantastic being there, supporting each other. I want you to know it's been seen and it's been noticed and I cannot thank you enough for being so good to each other. Um, so with that, I just want to uh, open up chat. Um, we can, I have nothing specific that I want to talk about. I was all ready to rah, rah, rah on the sidelines at Gulf Wars. Um, this was supposed to be my fencing dress, every single other piece of clothing, all of my makeup, all of my jewelry, and everything was already packed in my trailer and I have not unearthed it yet, um, which is why I'm kind of not wearing an underdress because they are, every single one of them has unpacked um, and not unpacked. So I'm gonna change the presenting privileges. We'll be able to view who's talking. Um, and you should be able to unmute yourself. I muted everybody, but you should be able to unmute yourself and speak. So I'm happy to answer any questions anybody has. Hi, Ronan the bull leg. Hey. Uh, my computer is a little slow and archaic, so forgive the delays. But oh, thank fine. you all, and thank you all for the support that has been given, especially your majesty. I'm, as I messaged you privately, I'm very sorry that your end of your reign had to come into such a crisis in the real world. Well, we can't choose the times we live in. Um, I'm just glad that I can be there for everybody as best I can. Hopefully it helps. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the sentiment very much. I'm not scary, I promise. No, she's not. I've met her in many courts. Hey, so what are you doing personally to keep your spirits up during this, other than shopping for a pair of kitties? Yeah. Um, for anybody who didn't see my post, I, being at home, seeing everybody's pictures of kittens and missing my cat who passed away about a year ago, um, I just, I'm like, oh, probably the last straw on the camel's back. I will probably get a cat. I'm speaking to somebody with a bonded pair of cats tomorrow. I might go see them this weekend. Um, so that's probably a very bad coping mechanism in the long term, but um, I've been working on my scrolls. I have several commissions. I have um, one that was requested. I'm working on Crispin. I'm working on a couple of scrolls for my last court. It'll be a virtual court, but I intend to do it very much like we would any regular court, except people can't come forward. Um, we'll call people. We'll talk about them. Um, I will present. We'll read the scrolls. I'll present the awards, um, and show the show the scrolls and all that there's also a couple other pieces of business other than awards um, I'm, i'd like to show everybody the gulf force tokens and the coins and the banner and all the things that were supposed to go to gulf wars <laughs> that couldn't um so planning all of that um i <laughs> i'm sure some of you saw i'm starting a calendar for all of the classes and events and everything that are going on um, if you want the link and you can't find it, it's out on the North Shield discussion group and the ANS group, but if you can't find it, feel free to PM me. I'll send you a link. You can add it to your calendar. If you want to put things on it, it's for any teacher or anybody to put an event on it. Um, just let me know, send me your email and I can add you. So just trying to stay busy. It's, I mean, it's hard. It was disappointing. I try not to think about Gulf Wars. Um, things will come up from past Gulf Wars in my Facebook feed and it always brings me down a little bit. Um, because, I mean, I was gonna be there. I was gonna be riding the horse in the procession. I was going to shoot and fight and, and 
not being able to do that is is disappointing. So I try not to think about it. Um, and I try to keep myself busy with things that keep my hands busy. Uh, that's whatever my hands are doing occupies my mind. And so I, I've just been trying to keep busy. Now I have been keeping busy with SCA stuff. Um, it's been scrolls and um, working on clothes and things like that. Uh, eventually it's gonna have to be house cleaning because frankly, there's a lot of that to do too. Um, but yeah, so how, how are you dealing with it? So well, I'm still working, but, and I have four teenagers at home keeping me not sane. So, you know, things and stuff and wine. <laughs> wine. Yes. I have a friend who um, was going to be responsible for the libations at the Atlantean party at, at Gulf Wars. So she has enough wine for about 10 households. <laughs> and four kids at home and she's just like I, I may be schnockered for the entire quarantine um what about anybody else what are you doing to handle this time where we're stuck home when I, we well, normally wouldn't be sorry go ahead go ahead my cats um, demand a lot of play time mm -hmm. playing with me my cat and getting caught in the leg by them like it just did my boss has been asking me. everybody else goes first please i'm planning uh getting, having good luck uh going through youtube and finding new cooking recipes to finally try out some of the stuff that i've haven't had time to play with before uh good tomorrow's luck, gonna finding, be good luck finding the food though I don't know when the last time you went grocery shopping was, but even ingredients are like not on the shelves. It's insane. Uh, you know I got how hard it is with, to uh, find. a little while ago, so I got stocked up nicely, but uh, trying a 13th century uh, naval uh, stew tomorrow. So You'll have to let us know how that goes. Turn it. Finding, kind of finding red flower it. right now is terrible, but I've been painting my nails mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I did that too. I painted them a very nice glittering color and then it turns out I hated the nail polish because it like peeled off when it didn't harden properly. Um, so I'm going to do it again tonight. Did you try a top coat on it? I did. It didn't help. It was weird. Oh, that stinks. I hate it when that happens. I've actually been doing my um, historical reenactment diet of hardtack, um, uh, primitive fry bread and uh, soups and stews and guess what? I haven't been happier than I have to be in a camp. Yeah. It, Izzy said, um, Isabel says cleaning, cooking, packing, cuddling with the cat, reading French inventories. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what you found. If you want, I can um, type up the recipe. It's from a book called Food at Sea for that uh, 13th century salsa. And I can uh, put it as a comment on your Facebook page post that told people to come here. Sure. Oh, I want that too, please. Yeah, it'll be on the post, so you'll be you should be able to see it. I just posted to the North Shield website the link to this go to meeting. So thanks, I appreciate it. Eh, you know, I'm not officially done yet. I know we're none of us are done yet. Uh, April, the day of coronation. Uh, for those who didn't see uh, or may not have understood the note that went out from um, Eldred. The way we're handling the transition because coronation has been canceled is that the transitions that are, were going to happen from me to Kirian and Alice and from Eldred to um, Eleanor will still happen um, technically, even though we haven't had the ceremony. Um, so it will all be done um, and they will be king and queen. They will take over that job. Eleanor will be Seneschal. She will take over that job as of um, April 19th, midnight. So that last, that day coronation would have been. And so I'll not be queen at that point after that. And um, 
they will let me do a Regency court at Crown. We will do this. I'll do a morning court at Crown. Um, do some of the things that we don't want to do in virtual court. We're going to do the peerages that we're going to be in coronation and all that. We're going to do that in a Regency court in the morning. So I'm going to have court in the morning. And then we'll probably do the transition. Um, I would guess there after the peerages so that they're actually king and queen during their crown, like with the right hats and everything. Um, and then they're going to have even court. So their business from coronation is going to happen at crown and my peerages from coronation are going to happen. At crown. That is April 16th at midnight. Okay, whatever. That weekend. I'm doing my job. <laughs> Keeping the I's dotted and the T's crossed. Um, someone asked what I'm most looking forward to when my um, term is over. I have told myself I was going to step away from actually eventing a little bit. So whee, the world did it for me. Um, and I am in the final stages of doing a complete anachronist. So my goal is to shift and work on that. I'm going to help with the website, the North Shield website, and I am currently working on Oscar II, um, which for those of you who aren't heraldic geeks is the heraldic submission program. So when you submit your name or you submit your arms, um, they go into this program called Oscar, and that's how they handle the letters. So if you're going in and commenting on letters, that's Oscar. Um, and so I'm working on the replacement for that. I'm on that team. And I'll be on the website team for North Shield, and I want to finish my complete anachronist. So I'm not going to be any less busy, <laughs> just in a different way. Um, let's see, there's another question. Oh, James says he's working on a um, website for one of the groups with demo handouts. Nice. Um, is there anything we can work on for the kingdom during this time? Um, it depends what your skills are. Um, there is a fair amount of largesse. Um, we have lots of bags. We have a fair amount of jewelry, um, not rings, uh, but we have a fair number of the little sewing kits. I just had one out that I was using it. Yes, I know it wasn't technically mine, but I don't know where I went. Um, so we have a fair number of those little felt books that are sewing kits, but other things. Um, and frankly, small things, happy to store them. Um, so if you have largesse that, that are little things, not big things, big things, we have to request. But tokens for awards is always a good one, always a good one. Um, including circlets. A lot of people will make beads for tokens, things like that, but not as many people know how to make circlets. Um, wire weaving, um, the little bands. I'm not a metal worker, so I'm butchering this, but um, little circlets, just even simple small circlets would be helpful. Um, let's see. The uh, if you are a scribe and you have tons of materials, like a few people I know, um, consider putting together kits for newcomers uh, to scribble. Um, when I started, somebody gave me a little one of the pill boxes with a little bit of each color, basic color of wash in it, some scrolls. Uh, paper and some a few basic brushes the right sizes um, and it was a great help because a lot of times people just they don't even know where to start and I have heard a bunch of people asking about scribal um, so a few beginner scribal kits and get them to either Kat or Marcial um, Kat because she just gives to everyone who mentions scribal here do this uh, and Marcial is technically in charge of that so he should have any kits. Um, 
yes, Calamus, I've seen your your work. He's working on a um, a book, basically. It's amazing. Um, scribal or illumination kits or both um, are always good. And the same type of thing for any art. If you do a thing and it's a reasonable thing for you to be able to go into your stash and make even just two or three starter kits, that's always helpful because then when somebody asks about that thing, um, if you can perhaps give them to the MOAS or your group MAOS, um, Minister of Arts or Science, uh, that would be good. Google Docs spreadsheet for what? Um, there's lots of Google Docs spreadsheets, that's why. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, that was about the classes. Yes, I have there the Honorable Clover, which is the Atlantean ANS thingamajig. Um, that's graceful whatever. Um, they have a Google spreadsheet. I have a calendar. I was actually going to add all of the Honorable Clover stuff to it when I get a chance. Um, literally a calendar, a, a Google calendar. So if you use Google, if you have a Google account, you can add the calendar to your calendar and it, all of the stuff will show up in a separate color from your things. I am doing an online class this weekend too, by the way, um, consent in the SCA. Um, and I have a list of other ones that I will get to. Um, one is going to be how to take pictures of your things for online. And um, I thought that would be helpful. Question. Um, since he's putting together badges for new officers for the website. Oh, we would always be interested in new high res um images always they would never go to waste um, if you can't find them out on the website somebody may have them in their local store but if you're willing to send them over so that our um, web ministers can add them to the ones available from the website that would be huge we love that um, so. yeah most of the stuff online is low res because it takes up less space um, so absolutely the ones being used on websites are technically low res. Some people, I think um, Countess Gwen has a number of the badges as high res. Um, so you can always ping her and see what she has. She'll get, probably share her Google Drive of those sorts of images with you. Um, yeah, award images would be fantastic. I have some of them in high res because I printed out little things to create my own awards. I have a basket full of extra awards that I made uh, we actually are not in need of scroll cases right now. Um, I gave Martial a stack when I came on and I have, I'm going to have a stack left after the virtual court because we will probably be mailing the scrolls to the folks and they won't need the scroll cases. Um, but that's just a guess. We'll have to see how many we'll be able to hand deliver, but they'll probably be mailed. You can see more of my fencing. It has the, the queen's, where's my webcam? It has the queen arms on them. So, yeah, the, the crown comes off. It's on a little applique piece, so I'll still be able to wear it when I'm not queen. I'll never get to wear it like this on the field unless I step up again sometime in the future, which is kind of sad. It made me sad. I'm, I just finished it before Golf Force, and now I won't ever be able to wear it as it is. Um, and it, it goes to, to like mid-calf. So my goal is to was at Golf Force to wear my gold underdress um, pulled up just a tad on the sides so that I could move without tripping on it, and then have this as my fencing overdress. I have a chain mail. Um, and it was going to be awesome. And it's not going to happen anymore. But hey. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Uh, no, it's not Velcro. It's just tacked on. I basted it on. Um, so. Okay. Thanks, James, for those images. And thank you. 
Um, so let's see. Anybody else have any questions? Um, so what, see, there are a number of folks here who haven't, is anybody doing something they think is interesting and different with their leftover time that they suddenly have? Oh, I'm so glad you started painting again. It's a great way to release tension. Oh, one of the things I've, when I get bored or when I'm trying to go to sleep, which has not been a thing recently, I uh, play games on um, my phone and I found a sorting, like where it has all the balls in the tubes and you have to make it so all the tubes are only contain one color. The other day I realized that's probably a sign of anxiety that I'm sorting things for fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're, we're all doing a lot of the same things, I think, but wire metal. Oh, those are so cute. What do you do with them when you're done with them? You should do that live stream, Maeve. That would totally be a thing. Maeve says that she uh, is considering live streaming a not work drafting session. Um, I took a not work drafting class at Northern Realms and it was like, aha, uh -huh. it was great. And I'm not looking at the camera, if anybody asks, because my camera is way down here on my laptop. And so I can't see what you're typing if I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> So see, Maeve, you've got two people right here who would love three. We'd love that. So yes, that that's definitely, if you need help getting it set up or you want somewhere to put it, you're welcome to put things out on my YouTube channel. You can just uh, put them in like Google Drive and I'll grab them and put them out on YouTube. A review of how ANS went. Yeah, I actually have only briefly spoken with Berenice about how things went. Um, and then this whole thing happened and I got distracted. Um, I think it would be really interesting to do a roundtable, have a bunch of the folks who were in ANS who displayed and who were at ANS and competed and see how it felt and what they did. Um, I know that it. one of the things I'm most interested in is did the new rubrics help with the issues that were being caused by the old rubric? Um, so uh, interest in a roundtable about that. Um, I can mention that to Berenice. Yeah, see, Maeve, like everybody's going, boom. Yeah, lighting's hard. Um, I have a light that's bright as the sun on in here, and it's not particularly good lighting. I did, I bought a light uh, for streaming. I, I gave in. I bought a light for streaming and uh, a stand for my phone, so I'll have better streaming capabilities in the future, but. Um, oh, by the way, good luck buying a webcam. I went out today to buy a webcam. Unless you wanna pay three, $400 for a webcam, you're not getting a webcam. It's crazy. Roman undergarments. I didn't think there were Roman undergarments. The one I bought, yeah, it's a ring light. Yeah, by the way, if anybody wants to host a class or uh, post a YouTube video or whatever, and you don't have the capabilities, you don't have a um, system that will allow you to have 100 people or however many you think you're gonna have. Um, I know Zoom has limits on time um, Hangouts is pretty good. Um, I'm happy to share my uh, account uh, for this particular software with you. And I'm happy to load your videos out on my YouTube. So that is, um, that's always out there as an offer. Um, I'm gonna do my classes in this format. 
when I do mine. Yeah, anybody who's doing classes, if you want to share your videos out on my, um, please do that. Please uh, ping me. Uh, what how it generally works best is if you put them out in a Google Drive, um, zipped, zip them, put them out on a Google Drive. You could ping me, I'll pull them down, unzip them and upload them. And I know that sounds weird, but that really is the best way to go about it. Oh gosh, yes. Um, my Baroness uh, of North Skogen, that she just found a bunch of garb that needed attention. Um, I took care of most of the mine before Gulf Wars, but I totally feel you. I had a whole stack. Um, yeah, uh, let me let me grab that URL off the calendar for you. Oops. You want me to look for it? I got it. Okay. So that's the link that will allow you to put the calendar on your calendar. Um, you just have to say yes when you put in the URL and it asks you if you want to add the calendar. Um, but if you if you want to add things to it, you need to send me your email. Um, I prefer a Facebook PM. Uh, someone else is saying it occurred to them that they should uh, take the time to turn leftover linen and wool scraps into dish towels. Absolutely true. We've all got scraps. I have so many scraps. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel kind of stupid for not thinking of that. This is why we're sharing. You can't think of everything. And then you could just surge the edges, square it up. Dang, that's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, Nicolo. Um, oh, Marguerite, your basic scribal class. Uh, consider videoing it, even if it's just with your phone. Um, I think if you live stream something on Facebook, you can then download the video, but I'm not 100% sure. I know if you manage to live stream something on YouTube, YouTube's going on my naughty list, by the way, definitely on my naughty list, um, that you can download it after. Oh, doll. yeah, things for the toy chest. That is a good one to bring up. Right now we have more cups for newcomers than we can frankly know what to do with. So I wouldn't worry about that, but definitely um, cup, uh, toys for the toy chest because they go. Every time the kids run, they take however many kids there are a number of toys out of the toy chest and <laughs> It, it depletes pretty quickly. It's full at the moment, but uh, what I have won't last long. Um, maybe halfway into their highness's reign is my best guess. And that's with all of these cancellations. <sighs> Bought a book. Did you buy, Constanza, did you buy Modern Maker Volume 3 on audio or on uh, paper? Alice, I have more toys for the toy chest. I have the toy chest and all the extra toys. I just gave you guys some for that day. So I've got plenty to give you, but not enough for your whole ring. Yeah, I've actually been listening to more audiobooks and finding that I can listen to my audiobooks when I do my painting and my sewing and it works better than watching something because I don't, and I'm not, my eyes aren't distracted. Um, I have been warned not to do calligraphy with a, a book on. I've heard that story. 
you'll have to uh, share, you'll have to do a little class on hand sewing techniques and buttonholes because they are my bane buttonholes. Do you have any suggestions for still trying to get newcomers into the SCA during this time when we're not meeting? I wouldn't. I wouldn't put a ton of effort into it, frankly. Um, I am most concerned about not losing people. And I don't mean losing as in no longer coming to the SCA. If it's not your boat, it's not your boat. But um, like mourning people that will lose people in this pandemic. And so if everybody is still breathing at the end of this, I will be happy. <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, but I um, I don't want to have to lose any of you. Um, so that is my primary concern. Now, if you have a friend who might be interested and was just not particularly willing to go put on the clothes until they had some of the experience, throwing the classes at them and these sessions at them might not be a bad idea. Um, but I wouldn't particularly worry about it. Yes, Maeve, it is super important to have your paint cup and your beverage cup totally different. Very important. Holy, yeah, those toys from Nordskogen were fabulous. Um, do you have them digitally, those patterns? If you have them digitally, I can post them for you. A few yeah, of so them my are beverage, beautiful. my beverage, this is my scribal beverage container. Like you literally cannot put a thing in it and it will not spill if you tip it. Sippy cups this are amazing for that. Well, and this isn't technically it's well, I lied. It's a grown-up sippy cup. It it's one that um you have to press the button to drink out of it. That's fair. Abelard gave me one with a goat on it. What is the Shadowing Office working on for, for new people during this time? Maya, that, um, sorry, Runa, that's, um, that's, that would be really interesting. Yeah, if you scan those patterns, I'll post them for you. Runa, you, can can also, you... you can also find quite a few on Google if you just look up felt animals. I have a, what would you call it? It's just a Pinterest board. I have a Pinterest board of, of things like that because I can't keep myself organized unless I have lists of things. Ah, got it working. Okay. There we, I go. Will get, there we go. I will get those to you, your majesty. I'll scan them. Um, oh, Circa has them scanned. Thank you. So you've already got them all scanned? Yeah, because, you know, I, I'm i special. Just leave it at yes, that. I'll get them to you, yes, Anne. You yes, you are. All right. <laughs> if you're and missing I, these, Circa, then just let me know, because I have them all drawn up on tissue paper, and I can just run them through my scanner. I might not get to it tomorrow. Work is a big, fat mess this week. But I'm assuming I'm going to have a lot more time soon good um maya i unmuted you runa if you want to tell us what's going on with the shadow lanes office um can you hear me yep okay um or new people that are reaching out to us we're going to try and connect them with people so that they can learn um during this time so we're not just telling them that hey we've got nothing going on for eight weeks right and um, working on um, maybe doing a newcomer book. Um, I wrote one up, but we have to get it um, approved. And let's see, there's a few other things. Oh, the ambassador program that we started at uh, Kingdom A&S. That was really nice. I like that. Can you explain uh, that to the people who may not have seen the post about it? Um, basically, it's going to be we're um, combining a list of people and for new events, these people wear this, um, basically this badge, which we have a man magnetic clip on the back, so nobody's wrecking their garb. <laughs> and um, it's just, we'll have a sign up and it's just a way for people to, um, if they're new, newish, newish to the kingdom, they can just go and know that they can interrupt these people and talk to them and, or just hang out with them, that they're available. 
Yeah, I, I really liked that. And they were on the exact people you would think they would be on. Like Coquette, Coquette had one. I'm sure everybody is shocked. Um, <laughs> no, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> really? I would never have imagined such. I, I know, right? Um, so she had one and, oh gosh, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, Eldred. Um, Eldred, that's right, Eldred. Uh, exactly Lucy. the people you would think. Mm -hmm. So that was really nice. I figured I would have done it, except for I was busy. Yeah, I was a little <laughs> busy too. I'm actually looking forward to being able to get back into normal uh, for events. But I have to say, I have absolutely loved this journey. Don't let anybody tell you any different. This has been absolutely fabulous and an irreplaceable experience. Did you ever finish your camel coat for golf? I I don't know because that wasn't mine. Um, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh gosh, Troll Slayer was working on that. Prodwin. Mm -hmm. uh, and she said it was going to be done for golf, but since golf didn't happen, I never pinged her and said, "Hey, is it done?" But I imagine she'll have it for me next time I see her. But I mean, I, I won't need it till it starts to get cold again. It's going to be warm by the time we get back out there. Whatever, you're always cold. <laughs> Not a lie. Um, I think I work. A, a, basically she a, speaks a, truth. A, a dub dub last year in the evening, it was cold enough for me to put something extra on. Yes, we want to set up archery targets outside. Because they're set six feet apart. So like we can go to archery practice and just never get within six feet of each other. It would totally be a thing. And I have my own thrown weapons target now. And so I'm like, how likely are my neighbors to call the cops? Really? I mean, I'm in the city, but are my neighbors actually going to call the police? Don't throw at their houses and they might not say anything. True. All right, well, it's it's been an hour uh, since it was scheduled to start. I don't have to cut you off, but if we don't have any other questions or comments, we certainly can. Um, so what are we, are we done folks? If you haven't seen um, Ella Shaba's post, there are a couple concerts tonight. So um, look for her post and um, come to those concerts. Yes, they're actually on the calendar. Um, I added them, so you can go there too. And Constanza says the Minneapolis city codes don't say anything about throwing weapons in the backyard. <laughs> Absolutely, that means we can do it. Of course, <laughs> Constanza knows that. All right, I'll let you guys go because actually one of the concerts is just starting. Uh, I don't want to take you guys away from that. Um, Looks like that was no, technical issues too. Oh, he is. Yeah, YouTube's on my naughty list. I'm telling you. Uh, no, Cat, we um, weren't able to. Ecat, we weren't able to to do court. Um, court is going to be uh, probably April fourth. That is my current goal, but things aren't absolutely set. Thank you, well, Your Majesty. See you guys later.